Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode 5 and 6 of Avatar The Last Airbender. The last two episodes, I really enjoyed one because uh, there was an entire village of women warriors, and I thought that that was fantastic. But then we also, you know, Aang really learned that he is the last airbender, and not that I liked that, but I, I do like that it's moving it along, that, you know, it's not just that he accepts it, but he's now seen it, and he has to move on from that. Um, I really, really enjoy Aang. I think everybody who's watched this show, really, really enjoys Aang. And he's got this sweet, compassionate kind of... I, I can see why he was picked for the avatars, because he's a really good person. And you want a really good person to have kind of all of those powers and that kind of that future and that destiny, because he is so special. Um, Katara, I, I definitely see like her being the older sister, the one that has to be responsible for our group kind of not only keeping us on task, but, you know, a little bit of discipline, but also like, hey, like, let's move on from this. Like, we need to get to the North Pole. And I do feel like that's a little bit, um, I don't want to say it's selfish, but I know that she wants to work on her water bending, And uh, I, I know that she's really anxious for that. I would like to see her, you know, work on her water bending, But, you know, we have to go through all these adventures first before we get there. And I totally get it. And I see it. Still waiting for the hopping llamas. I thoroughly enjoyed Sokka kind of getting not only taught a lesson by the female warriors of Kyoshi, but like, you know, actually kind of learning something. And that's the thing about Sokka that I think I'm actually rather enjoying is that you could paint him off as kind of like just this foolish boy, but he is somebody who learns lessons and you do see him already changing just in the first four episodes, you know, like like him really like telling Aang, like, we're going to take care of you. And and you see him caring about Aang. And even though, you know, he thinks that sewing is women's work and that like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't think you were a warrior because you were a woman. He kind of learns these lessons that people can be multiple things and that like, just because he kind of has this preconceived notion doesn't mean that he can't expand his view. And I really like that about Sokka is that he learns lessons. Like he kind of comes off as like an immature boy, but you know, he can, he can grow and evolve very quickly. Um, and that he gets hangry just like me. So we need to keep him fed. <laughs> now, the other character that I'm really, really interested in seeing his evolution and his growth is Zuko, because, you know, he seems like a bratty teenager, and then he seems like a bratty teenager with something to prove, and then you learn about, like, you know, him being banished by his father, and thankfully he has his uncle with him, who is essentially this father figure that I think he needs. And I I love Uncle Iro. I, I think that, like, he's kind of got some of the best comedic moments so far. But, you know, just to kind of see how he's really there for his nephew and, and, and sticks up for his nephew and is there to, like, teach his nephew without being, like, like, just like this wizened Miyagi, like, he's there to, like, you know, like, let him learn his lessons, but then also there to teach him lessons when that needs to happen. Um, I really, really appreciate the uncle, but I feel like Zuko kind of has this character turn that could happen where, you know, it's all just about, like, proving something to his father and, and to feel worthy and to be welcomed back. I think he's going to kind of like maybe lean more forward into something of like, maybe he doesn't need to do that. Maybe that's not the most important thing to him. And, and being a good person and a stand-up person and having actual honor um, is, is the thing that he needs to really be driving towards. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That might take a while because he is a teenage boy and they... They definitely, like, really want their father's approval. And then you look at Sokka, who doesn't have his father anymore, and, and, and his mother is gone, and he is now the leader of this village that he has left behind to go on this mission with the Avatar. You know, it's it's really seeing this evolution of, of a boy to a man on both fronts, and I'm really excited for that. And Aang, I don't know if we could say boy to a man, because I would want him to be a boy as long as possible. I know he was the boy in the iceberg, but he's got this huge destiny in front of him. And you know what? 
go find your hopping llamas, go ride the koi, you know, like, 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 like ride the unagi all you want. Like be this, this young boy for as long as you possibly can. Cause I don't know how long he gets to have that. Um, and, and I, I would hope that he would get to be an avatar for a really long time. I don't know if that's the case. Like, you know, like essentially he was for a hundred years, but like to physically be the avatar and learn. And I don't know what happens. Like when you learn everything you need to learn to be the avatar, does that pass on to somebody new? Cause we saw all the avatars in the air temple and you know, they all seemed like they were adults. They did not seem like they were children. So I, I would hope that he would get a long tenure as avatar, but I'm excited to launch into this mostly because, you know, anytime I get to see Appa being Appa, you know, now Momo being Momo, uh, I get really happy and excited, but you know, we always get to go on some adventure where, you know, they get to have like this childlike moment, but then they have like these very adult moments where there's a lesson that's learned. Um, and you know, I, 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 I want to see what's up with my characters that I love. It, it didn't take very long for me to fall in love with them, but, uh, I definitely am enjoying the ride. So guys, let's get into it. Are they earthbenders? Can they call them earthbenders if they're not actually on planet Earth? It could be dangerous if people find out you're the Avatar. Yes. You need a disguise. Yes. So what am I supposed to do? Grow a mustache? <laughs> oh, this is so itchy. How do you live in this stuff? Oh, Great. thanks, Appa. You look just like my grandfather. Technically, Aang is 112 years old. Uh-huh. Now let's get to skipping, young whippersnappers. There you go. The big city awaits. <laughs> the people here are the friendliest in the world. Oh, which means they're not going to be. What kind of slum do you think this is? <laughs> oh, my cabbages. What was the point of that? Just keep smiling. Yeah. I've got to have a mind to bend you over my knee and pedal your backside! Settle down, old timer. <laughs> Name's Bonzu. Pippin Paddle Lopsicopolis. The third! Oh! Hi, June Pippin Paddle Lopsicopolis. Nice to meet you. Come on, Sokka. You seem like a responsible young lady. <laughs> See that your grandfather stays out of trouble. I was like, Sokka's gonna mess that up. Wait a minute. You're a strong young boy. Uh -huh. Show some respect for the elderly and carry your grandfather's bag. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that whole thing was a door. Wow. <laughs> nice. Wow. But they've probably been attacked by the fire benders as well, so I could see why they'd be a little shy of letting people in. Earthbending brings the packages up, and gravity brings them down. But my friend Boomy found a better use for these shoots. Oh yeah? Look around you! What do you see? Um, the mail system? The world's greatest super slide! There we go. You're a mad genius. <laughs> <laughs> Mad is correct. This sounded like fun at first, but now that I'm here, I'm starting to. It's really extreme! <laughs> You're gonna blow your mustache off, kid. Uh. Is that to stop this from happening? A little poke to make you never do it again? You're destroying their town. It's important that you be prepared for anything. <laughs> oh, oh, you're ruining the system. Use your air bending. Yeah, good idea. That'll make us go even faster. Not faster. <laughs> well, You're destroying people's homes. 
And probably this face. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, his cabbages! No! Oh! Cabbages! <laughs> Oh, look at this guy. Hmm? Hmm? These juveniles were arrested for vandalism, traveling under false pretenses, and malicious destruction of cabbages. Off with their heads! <laughs> One for each head of cabbage! That's extreme. What is your judgment, sire? Hmm. Is he the, the mad... His eyes look like what's his face? Bendu? Is it just me or is this guy's crown a little crooked? So tell me, young bald one. Where are you from? I think it's his friend. Kangaroo Island, eh? I hear that place is really hopping. <laughs> <sighs> what? It was pretty funny. <laughs> There's an airbender in our presence, the Avatar. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Pippin Paddleopsicopolis? <laughs> I'm not gonna remember that name. <laughs> I'm shocked he got that right. I'm the Avatar. Keeping the world safe. Everything checks out. Except destruction of property and loss of cabbages. You can't keep us here. Let us leave. Let us leave? <laughs> okay, I thought that was funny. Tomorrow, the Avatar will face three deadly challenges. The guards will show you to your chamber. Do you mean the good chamber or the bad chamber? The newly refurbished chamber. Oh. Wait, which one are we talking about? <laughs> we really should number them. Uh, take you you need to figure out a system. That was once bad. <laughs> That's gotta be his friend, right? This oh. is a prison cell? Yeah. But it's so nice. Right? He did say it was newly refurbished. There's gotta be some way out of here. The air vents! I'm if sure they thought of that. There, you're crazier than that king. We can't, but Momo can. Mm hmm Oh, look at Momo living his best life. He's full. Oh, he too big now. <laughs> Where are my friends? The king will free them if you complete your challenges. I'm interested in these challenges. What do you think of my new outfit? <laughs> I want your honest opinion. <laughs> I'm waiting. It's very purple. I guess it's fine. Excellent. You've passed the first test. Oh. Really? Well, not one of the deadly tests. Oh, okay. I thought you might refuse, so I will give your friend some special souvenirs. Those delightful rings are made of pure genomite. It's crystal that grows remarkably fast. By nightfall, your friends will be completely covered in it. Terrible fate, really. I can yeah. stop it, but only if you cooperate. Ah! It's already creeping! Mm. It seems I've lost my lunchbox key and I'm hungry. Would you mind fetching it for me? Is this gonna help, like, teach him how to bend water? Ah! Ah! Going down the water? Well, there you go. I want my friends back now. Two more. I need help with another matter. It seems I've lost my pet Flopsy. Aww. Daddy wants a kiss from Flopsy. It's not gonna be easy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Flopsy, wait! I'm Flopsy. loving Flopsy. What is that? Flopsy? Ah! Ah! 
Aww. Aww, Aww belly wobbins. Yes. <laughs> Guys, are you okay? Doing great. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> I'm ready for the next challenge. Atta boy. Your final test is a duel. You may choose your opponent. Oh. Point and choose. Mm. Whoever I point to. That's the person I get to fight. Point at the king. You. <laughs> Wrong choice. Oh. This buff. Dang. Who knew that was under there? Aang's got this. I just don't know how. <laughs> Can I fight the guy with the axe instead? <laughs> you might need this. Wow. Wow. Did someone leave the windows open? <laughs> I love this king. Come on, Aang. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I love when they have these fighting scenes. Right back at ya. Good job, Aang. You must answer one question. What's the point of tests if you don't learn anything? Oh. Answer this one question, and I will set your friends free. What is my name? Bendu. He's an earthbender, right? Rocky! <laughs> because of all the rocks! We're gonna keep trying, but that is a good backup. <laughs> I had to think differently than I usually would. I know his name. As you said a long time ago, I had to open my brain to the possibilities. <laughs> Boomy, you're a mad genius. Oh, Boomy. <laughs> I thought it was Bendu. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Oh. So this crazy king is your old friend, Boomy? Who are you calling old? <laughs> okay, I'm old. Very old. Why did you do all this instead of just telling Aang who you were? It's pretty fun messing with people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do have a reason. You must master the four elements and confront the Fire Lord. And when you do, I hope you will think like a man genius. Thank you for your wisdom. But before we leave, I have a challenge for you. A race? Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh, cabbages! <laughs> the man's cabbages. <laughs> Fantastic. I didn't know Momo could fly. What was that? Oh! It's coming from over there. <laughs> Should we run away from huge booms, not toward them? Uh, or figure it out. <laughs> okay, we're still around Earth Bender. He looks dangerous, so we better approach cautiously. Hello there. I'm Katara. <laughs> well. Oh. Did he just run away? Hey, that guy's gotta be running somewhere. Maybe we're near a village. Which means no nuts for dinner. Hey, I worked hard to get those nuts. And that guy really tried to block you guys from going, so I'm thinking that's not a good idea. Where have you been, Haru? You're late. Haru. Get started on your chores. Hey, you're that kid. <gasps> you must have me confused with some other kid. 
No, she doesn't. We saw you earthbending. <gasps> Why are you just intruding? You know what would happen if they caught you earthbending. Open up! Oh, pardon my language. <laughs> so natural. I've already paid you this week. The tax just doubled. And we wouldn't want an accident, would we? Okay, so the firebenders are running this village. How long has the Fire Nation been here? Five years. Fire Lord Ozai uses our town's coal mines to fuel his ships. Earthbending is forbidden. He must never use his abilities. Oh, How can okay. You say that? Haru has a gift. Yeah. What can the Fire Nation do to you that they haven't done already? They could take Haru away. Like they took his father. Oh. Okay, well. <sighs> My mom said you can sleep here tonight. Thanks. I'll make sure Abba doesn't eat all your hay. <laughs> that hay's gone. <laughs> they rounded up my father and every other earthbender and took them away. We haven't seen them since. Jeez. The only way I can feel close to my father now is when I practice my bending. Hmm. See this necklace? I lost my mother in a Fire Nation raid. This necklace is all I have left of her. It's not enough, is it? No. What a thing to bond over. Man. War. Uh, help! The mine! Help me! He's gonna have to bend Earth to, like, get him out of there. Uh! Nice. But that's probably gonna come back to haunt him, I think. Everyone should get some sleep. We're leaving at dawn. This village is crawling with Fire Nation troops. If they discover you're here, Aang, we'll be eating fireballs for breakfast. Very smart, Sokka. <gasps> That's him! That's the Earthbender! He saved your life, old man. They took him! Yeah, you kind of inspired him. Now he's gone. The Fire Nation is going to take me right to Haru. And why would they do that? Because they're going to arrest me for earthbending. Okay, well, that's a good plan. All Aang has to do is send an air current from that vent to this one right here. Ta-da! Fake earthbending. Aang, did you get all that? Sure, sure, I got it. Do you remember- Did you? Yeah, yeah, just relax. Oh no. By this, do you mean intentionally being captured by an army of ruthless firebenders? Exactly. That's fun stuff. So much fun. Get out of my way, Pipsqueak! How dare you call me Pipsqueak, you giant-eared cretin? Do herds of animals use them for shade? You better back off. Seriously, back off. I will not back off. <laughs> I'll show you who's boss. Earth Great acting. Aang. That lemur, he's earthbending. Oh no. No, you idiot, it's the girl. Oh, of course. <laughs> You've got 12 hours to find a room. We'll be right behind you. Hopefully. Why 12 hours? Oh. <laughs> Momo, you have some big ears. Both of you are adorable. She'll be fine, Aang. Katara knows what she's doing. Hopefully. I am your warden. You will succeed here if you simply abide. <laughs> what kind of guest dishonors his host by interrupting him? It sounds like George K uh, Takei. Is that correct? If you have any illusions about employing that brutish savagery that passes for bending among you people, forget them. Except that she is a waterbender. Surrounded by water. It's my fault you were captured. I came to rescue you. You've got guts, Katara. I'll give you that. Is his dad here? There's someone I want you to meet. 
This is my father, Tyro. Dad, this is Katara. Oh. Have some dinner, Katara. Ooh. It's not as bad as it looks. Nut soup. Ooh. It's still pretty bad, though. <laughs> Prisoners are complaining there aren't enough blankets to go around. I'll talk to the guards. In the meantime, make sure the elderly are taken care of. He is in charge. What's your escape plan? Excuse me. What is it? Mutiny? Sabotage? The plan? The plan is to survive. Mm. I'm sorry, but we're powerless. Mm. We'll see about that. Come on, Katara. Every child in my Water Tribe village was rocked to sleep with stories of the brave Earth Kingdom. Yes, they have taken away your ability to bend, but they can't take away your courage. It is the strength of your hearts that make you who you are. Mm. So remember your courage, Earthbenders. Let us fight for our freedom! But how? She tried to be inspirational and they just don't believe. Your 12 hours are up. Where's Haru? We've got to get out of here. I can't. I'm not leaving. I'm not oh, really? giving up on these people. E I don't... Oh. What do you mean you're not leaving? We can't abandon these people. Yeah, how are they going to get out of this? Look! Tell me exactly what you saw. Well, sir, <laughs> it looked like a flying bison. <laughs> it was a giant flying buffalo, sir. Which was it? A buffalo or a bison? Does it matter? Uh, I'm not sure what the difference is, but that's I mean, the same. point, is it, sir? <laughs> I'll decide what the point is, fool. That is definitely George Takei. Wake up the captain. Search the entire rig. That was the captain you just nope. threw overboard. <laughs> There's something going on here, and I don't like it. Hopefully, I don't even want to say a mutiny, because it's not a mutiny. Jailbreak? I tried talking the Earthbenders into fighting back, but it didn't work. They need some kind of earth or some rock. Something they can bend. Do you have any nuts in your, your bag? Look at the smoke. I bet they're burning coal. In other words, Earth. There's coal somewhere. Interesting. There's a huge deposit of coal at the base of the silo, and the whole system is ventilated. When he does his air bending, the coal only has one place to go. Right back here. Awesome. Come on, guys, do your thing. Here's your chance, Earthbenders. Come on, Haru. How sweet. They're a waste of your energy, little girl. Mm. You failed. Not yet. <clears throat> Good for you, Haru. And Pops. For the Earth Kingdom, attack! Nice. They were just a little rusty. They just they, they just needed like a, a minute to collect themselves. Nice. Go. Guys, throw me some coal. Nice. <laughs> Oh, I love how they work in tandem. No, please. I can't swim. Don't worry. I hear cowards float. Oh. Sick burn. I want to thank you for saving me. For saving us. All it took was a little coal. It wasn't the coal, Katara. It was you. Thank you for helping me find my courage. My mm -hmm. family and everyone here owes you much. Oh. Katara, thank you for bringing my father back to me. Mm. My mother's necklace! It's gone! Oh. <sighs> okay. So, two very good episodes. Um, definitely... A, 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 
revolved around earth bending, which I kind of had like the question is just like, is earth called earth if you're not on earth? I don't know. Maybe we're on earth, but like some other time. Um, <laughs> Just like one of those weird like little questions that I like ask where I'm like, is it really called that? Uh, but it was nice to see earth bending because I, I was very curious. I was just like, well, you know, I get like air bending, like pushing air and then water bending, like pushing water, fire, you know, pushing and shooting fire. I get it. I was like, earth, I'm, I'm like, what does that mean? Like growing plants? And, and it was nice to actually see it in action uh, in, in both, uh, both of these different villages. Now, I kept saying bendu, but it's... Oh, I already... Be Bemi? Beanie? Ah, oh, damn. I could tell immediately that that's who that was. Uh, obviously, because the crazy, goofy eyes and just kind of like his overall, like, kind of like off behavior. And they kept pointing out how off he was. And I love that. And I love that he knew who Aang was immediately and was just kind of messing with them. And it was just like, yeah, like, I'm going to, like, make you do what I did before, which was, you know, just kind of see things a different way. Uh, I love that for Aang, and I love that, like, he got, like, a reunion with somebody that he knew that was, like, still alive, and he was a fierce earthbender. He was, there's a reason why he's king. Um, yeah, I know he was a little off, and he was a little, woo, but, like, he was still an amazing earthbender. I love that for us, um, and I, I feel really bad for the cabbage guy. Kinda. He said off with their heads. For every head of cabbage, that's, that's extreme. That's extreme meeting up with, uh, Haru? Yes, with Haru and, like, the, the Fire Nation having taken over that village and, uh, earthbending not being allowed, but earthbenders actually being taken away. There's so many, like, things where it's, like, you could totally ignore the fact that they were separating a group of people from another group of people because of their abilities, but it kind of, and I think maybe it's because, and I, I forgot to check, but, um, that it was George Takei that did the voice, all I could think of was like Japanese internment camps and how people were separated for just being different. And I know that they don't want people to bend earth because they're firebenders and they're, you know, trying to uh, like keep the village uh, under control so they could take the coal. And I totally get it. But it was like funny that it kind of like crept into my mind that way. Actually, I am going to look that up. Yep. Sure enough, sure was him. I mean, it says warden, so I assume that, that that is who they're talking about was the warden at this prison, uh, which it, it's kind of fun, like, figuring out, like, some of these voices when I hear them. There's some that, like, I'm sure I would never guess in a million years, but there are some people that are very specific, like George Takei, and I was like, that sounds like him. That, that sounds a lot like him. So I kind of get a little frustrated with Katara sometimes because she's, like, on this mission to save the world, which I think is fantastic, but like, can we get to the North Pole already? Like, we need to learn these lessons. We need to make both her and Aang stronger. And, you know, and I, I realized that she wanted to help somebody that she got into trouble, but she like really pushed for him to do his earth bending, even though they said it wasn't safe. And she's like, that's crazy. You should do it anyway to like fight these guys. And like, like she kind of like pushes a little bit too much too hard and it always leads to trouble. Just like Aang, like, like was just like, oh, like a hundred years ago I was here and I, I rode down these like, you know, mail chutes and it was like a roller coaster. And so let's do it again. And he like destroys this entire village. And, you know, like, Katara, like, not, like, kind of, like, thinking, like, maybe she should mind her own business. Like, she just walks into his house, starts talking to him about earthbending, and is, like, really pushing for him to, like, use his ability. And and it's it's frustrating with both Aang and Katara. Uh, and then you just have, like, Sokka, who's just kind of, like, the voice of reason is just, like, we need to get out of here. Like, like, we don't need to do this. We don't need to do that. We need to leave at dawn. And like, like, you know, he's actually trying to keep them on task, which is interesting for Sokka. <laughs> and, you know, now we have Zuko who has Katara's necklace. And uh, I'm, I'm sure he knows that it's her. And I'm sure he knows that the Avatar and her are the ones that are responsible for this, this, the, the Fire Nation no longer having the ability to take coal from these villages. Um, and I'm sure he's ready to pursue again with Uncle Iroh and him. I feel like there's going to be a turn that will help kind of, I don't want to say like keep the Fire Nation 
from you know attacking anymore but like maybe they will like kind of see different sides of these people and i feel like zuko is the key and i would i'm really like i don't want to say i'm i'm hoping to see his turn in his character because i believe that that will take a while but i do feel like zuko is the key to stop the war not just ang but also zuko and that that's what it, i'm at least hoping for um because if you could have a firebender and maybe we could get Haru back with us, and then we have our Waterbender, and then we have the Avatar and the Airbender. I feel like like that could be a, a group of people that could really, you know, turn a lot of other people like to to I don't know want this war to stop, and especially the Firebenders. And you know, like maybe they could talk Zuko's dad into stopping pursue the Avatar. And and again, I don't know why the war started. Um, every episode starts with, you know, the firebenders start this war, and I don't know what the purpose of that was, and, and, and what the purpose of it still is, and, like, why it's a hundred-year war, and why it's still going. So, uh, hopefully those questions get answered, but I am thoroughly enjoying this. I love Momo, I love Appa, I love Aang. Um, I'm, I, I don't think that there's one character that I don't like, you know, ex obviously the, the, the firebender, uh, warden, but like, you know, I like him because George K. but you know, I love the earthbenders and, and I, I love the village that we got in the last couple episodes of the village of the women at Hiroshi. And, you know, I'm, I'm loving these adventures and I'm super excited for them. But guys, if you want to watch the full length reaction, it will be available on my Patreon as well as uh, a couple episodes early. We're trying to get a couple in the can. So we have have uh, more that you can watch on Patreon first and then YouTube. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Like, how did you feel at this point about Katara, Sokka, and Aang? Because, of course, I adore Aang. I think everybody adores Aang. Sokka, you know, was kind of like, I think, being a, a little reckless. And now I kind of see that with Katara a little bit. And, uh, you know, I don't, like, love Zuko by any means. I feel much sympathy for him. But I, I like Uncle Iroh. Uh, but, you know, Appa's my favorite character. Uh, I just eh, <laughs> love every scene that he's in. Um, but, you know, I, I like I said, I like every character so far, thus far. But, like, at this point, who is your favorite character? And, and what did you like most about them? What, like, bending do you like? Because I like airbending. And, and I like water bending sometimes. And now seeing the earth bending, I was like, that's cool. But I'm still a big fan of fire bending. Even though... Those are the people that we're not supposed to like that much <laughs> right now. I think I still, I still think that there's good ones, but, uh, we need the, we need to get the war stopped. And I think Zuko is the key. I really do. But okay, guys, I am looking forward to the next couple episodes. I'm looking forward to chugging along through season one because I've heard season one is kind of where everything starts, but season two and three is where everything takes off. So looking forward to getting to those, but the journey has been fantastic and fun so far. So we'll see you back here for the next couple. Okay, guys? I'll see ya.